Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day today. Today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches over Saucebox's, Saucebox's new Battle Lash palette. I don't know why that confused me. Anyway, let's get into what we are here for. Um, here is the new Battle Lash for Saucebox palette. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, um, if you follow Instagram beauty blogs and all this kind of stuff, then you probably already know about this. The Battle Lash girls are like, oh gosh, the only one that I can think of is Samantha, S S S Samantha, you know? Um, I, I follow all the girls, but I don't know why she's the only name I remember. I have a terrible, terrible name memory. Anyway, it's all these girls. They're extremely talented, and they all collabed with Saucebox Cosmetics to create this palette. They came up with the colors, the names, except, except for the black one. I think Saucebox said that they named this one. But, um... Yeah, they chose the colors and the names and all that. And um, I've never used any Saucebox products before. And I was intrigued because I was like, these girls are so talented. I don't think they would, you know, collab with somebody who they didn't really appreciate the quality of the shadows. All right, first of all, this palette is $60 and can only be found on Saucebox's website. I'll have the link down in the description below in case you're interested. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining about the price tag. There are eight shadows and it's $60, but guys, let me put this into perspective for you. These shadows are huge. I don't know if you can tell how big these pans are, but let me pop one out here. Here's one of theirs. This one has 14 ounces, okay? Here is a MAC shadow. That is way smaller. And this has 0 0.05 ounces. So this one's 0.14, this one's 0 0.05. And a Makeup Forever, which we know is a bit larger than Max, is um, I think 0 0.07 ounces. So this has twice as much as this. As we all know, one of these is what, 20 something dollars? And one of these for pan only is $10. If we divide the price of the palette here by all the shadows, this one comes out to $7.50. This huge thing is only $7.50. So the price tag might make a bit more sense to you guys. Um, so anyway, that is the price thing. I just wanted to address that because I thought it was kind of unfair how people were cutting them down and stuff for the price when actually you're getting a lot of product, okay? Here is a MAC shadow. That is way smaller and this has 0 0.05 ounces. So this one's 0.14, this one's 0 0.05 and a Makeup Forever, which we know is a bit larger than MAC, is um, I think 0 0.07 ounces. So this has twice as much as this. As we all know, one of these is what, 20 something dollars? And one of these for pan only is $10. If we divide the price of the palette here by all the shadows, this one it comes out to $7.50. This huge thing is only $7.50. So the price tag might make a bit more sense to you guys. Um, so anyway, that is the price thing. I just wanted to address that because I thought it was kind of unfair how people were cutting them down and stuff for the price when actually you're getting a lot of product. So here's the palette. The design is really cute. I don't know if you can see because there's so much glare, but it has this fancy girl, a whole bunch of um, diamonds here, and on the back are a bunch of diamonds also. The only thing that annoys me about this packaging is um, it has the names here on the back. It has the names here on the back. Um, it's not listed here to give room for more product and stuff. And you know, usually when the product is listed on the back, like with Kat Von D and who else, you know, whoever else has the products listed on the back, they do it to where Here's the palette, right? And you flip it this way, and they do it to where, you know, like this one's vanilla, this one's warm brown. They'll do it whenever you're flipping it to where this one's vanilla, this one's warm brown, as if you were looking at the palette like this. Um, but they have it backwards. They have it where vanilla's over here and more winter brown is over here and the other one and the other one. So it goes this way to that way instead of like, you know, does that make sense? So at first I was kind of confused. I was like, vanilla could not be the black one. <laughs> so I figured that out though, but you know, that was just one little peeve of mine. Now, aside from, the, oh, you open it up and there is a mirror there. I still have the plastic thingy on it. I always like to save it for you guys because this is my favorite thing to do. 
Hooray, clean mirror, hi. Okay, so um, here are the shadows. We have vanilla, winter brown, cinnamon, lace noir, enigma, electro, popper, and nova. Um, the top, it's arranged, the top are all mattes and the bottoms are the shimmers. And I like with the mattes, they have a nice kind of neutralish range of colors. So you can just create something nice and just, you know, normal. I have the mattes on my eyes right now. So they're real pretty, they're soft, they're easy to work with, and that is just awesome. And the same goes for the shimmers. Those ones are so just, they're so pigmented, guys. I was really kind of concerned, you know, even though I trusted the Battle Lash Girls and stuff, I was still kind of concerned that I was like, I'm dropping $60 on this palette and I've never used any of their stuff before. So I was like, please let them work good. And they do. They work really good. You can see from the swatches how easily they swatch. And these shimmers, guys, are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. I love this one so much because like I've already said before, I'm really into browns. This one's like a coppery brown. So... It really made me excited. Um, and I love these, how they just threw in a couple of pops of color here. They're kind of random, but they, they go, they go. And I've created a few looks with this palette and I threw those two in there. I was like, ah, this completely changes up the look and really makes it look exciting. So I'm really, really liking this, guys. I'm so excited whenever I discover a new company and thank goodness for Instagram and those battle lash girls and stuff because I I love this. I really do love it. Um, they have a few other palettes out. I am definitely going to have to grab those ones too. I think they have an all matte one that's kind of more not, like natural colors, neutral colors. So I'm excited to go and get those but it's not going to be for a while because there's so many makeup things coming up soon and I'm just like but anyway guys yeah this i'm i'm really enjoying this palette um on my blog i do have like a lot of individual swatches and the color just really high detailed pictures if you like pictures so i have a link to it in the description below um what do i have to say about this in short it's 60 dollars. they work fantastic they are so pigmented they're so smooth they just work great not a single one was flaky not a single one was um, um, patchy. They all just went on and they worked how shadows should work. So, woohoo! <laughs> um, and what else? What else? That's it, I guess. All right, guys, and here are the swatches for the Battle Lash for Sauce Box palette. Let's get into it. The first color is vanilla. Winter Brown, Cinnamon, Lace Noir, Enigma, look at that shimmer. So beautiful. Electro. Popper. And lastly, Nova. And that's all of them. Um, let me know your thoughts on this palette. Are you going to get one for yourself? Are you just like, eh, and I'll just admire from a distance or just let me know what you think. Also, if you like this video, please thumbs up, please subscribe, please leave me comments, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great day today. Today, oh, there's my son saying hi. Today, um, oh, first of all, if you don't want to hear me blab, then click in the description below. There is a time and it will start you right at the tutorial. So today I am doing kind of a talk through, get ready with me style tutorial. Um, I'm still not 100% comfortable with those. So I'm